Huh? Oh yeah! Like, we're never gonna release merch, by oh, the yeah, way. Oh yeah, for sure. Today we got Casual Geographic. Uh huh. The insane plot armor of cats. They do a cat video before? No, no, no. I was just about to bring that up. Okay. We reacted to Tear Zoo. Oh. The cat yeah. video. We literally just did that. Yeah. It's crazy how he posted a video about cats. We had mentioned Casual. How yeah. his videos are informational, yeah. motivational, Educate, yeah. educational. Yeah. Uh, Make one up. I don't know. Transcend you. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, man. It's nice to have you back. Now, this video seems like it's going to do really good because we've been getting comments about it. So maybe this is going to be heat. Probably, maybe. Maybe we learn something. I mean, we always learn something, but like, you know what I'm saying? And the Tear Zoo video it taught us about yeah, Jaguar, it right? Jaguar. It's not no fufu ass lion. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I thought it was the lion, the king of the nope. jungle, bro. Nope. Anyway, shout out to Cash Geographic. Yeah. Link to the original video down below. Go check it out. And <laughs> Real quick, we have a gaming channel, DNA. Right now, we're currently doing the Walking Dead series. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, please do so. DNA, DNA, DNA. If you ain't sub to DNA, use a fraud, 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 fraud. Fake. <laughs> Damn. Damn, 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 Damn. Damn. Oh. Damn. You put the pause on that dog. Oh, shit. Oh, they about to double team him? Yo. Yo, bro. Put this the pause man on him. swung like 30 times. Like 30, 30 smacks a minute, my bro. He hit him jabs. He said, Bow, 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 bow. Damn! <laughs> Mama, come get out. The other one said, "What's going on here?" Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh, 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 Term used to describe a character so overpowered that they make the game stop functioning as intended and exploit the game's balance in their favor. OP. Well. If cats aren't the most broken animals on the planet, God must have discontinued first place. Well, I talk shit. a lot about animals that got shafted by evolution. In fact, my most popular video today was about 10 of them. Well, if I ever do a oh. video on nature's favorites, cats would surely be at the very top. Yeah. Cats are arguably the most successful predators we've ever seen. With so Damn. many overpowered abilities, you'd swear to fly. I don't even want to make this intro too long, so here's 10 Smack superpowers your cat has that you may or may like, like, yeah. Yeah. Stop, bro. I'm just trying to eat. I don't even want to make this intro look, too look, long, look. so here's 10 superpowers <laughs> your cat has that you may or may not have known. And number one, yeah, yeah. zero yeah. fall damage. You've probably Facts. heard that cats always land. Oh, you remember the video? I don't know if you've seen it. The cat fell from like a 10 story building and just zoomed yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, survived and all that. I don't know. I don't know. And on her feet, but the real flex is being able to fall from heights that would have any human furnishing a coffin. A 1987 study showed that out of 132 cats that were brought to an emergency vet in New York City after falling out of a high rise, 90% lived and less than 40% required life saving treatment. Bruh. It gets even wilder when you realize that cats yep. actually have a better hey, chance hey, of getting hey, 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 hey. building and walking Ooh. it off the higher the drop was. And it's all because cats understand physics. You see, when what? you're in free fall, you ex. They understand physics? Yeah. I don't have a Bro, I'm just thinking That's they got scary. I'm just thinking they got some shock resistant joints or something like that. What the fuck? But they, they look so fragile, yet they could do this, yeah. bro. Even wilder when you realize that cats actually have a better chance of getting airdrop from a building and walking it off ah. the higher the drop was. And it's all because cats understand physics. Hmm. You see, when you're in free fall, you accelerate towards the ground until you reach terminal velocity, where you literally can't fall any faster. Okay. When cats reach TV, they splay their legs and kind of just parachute the rest of the way down. Oh. And instead of landing on their feet, they break their the one. Their chest and abdomen. Huh. Obviously, they don't completely tank the hit, but thanks to their relatively large surface area to weight ratio, they yeah, maximize yeah. the points of contact that smack the ground and therefore minimize the damage. So we and since cats that. apparently have lifelong beef with gravity, cats that reach terminal velocity instinctively know not to tense up, but instead relax and basically turn themselves into a kite on the way down. The Bro. thing is, if they don't have time to reach terminal velocity, they end up getting hurt way worse. So like in a weird twist, cats that fall from two to seven stories actually end up I more down bad than the ones that touch earth from 10 stories up. In fact, cats have about a 95% chance of falling from 10 stories and living. Meanwhile, Jeez. the average human has a 95% chance of getting outlined with chalk. Oh, and don't yes. think the cutoff's 10 stories either. One cat named Sabrina took a 32-story express trip to the ground and walked away with only a punctured lung and a chipped tooth. Not what? to mention she was released and sent home two days stories later. 32 stories is crazy. Uh, hold on. 32 stories, my boy. If we hit the ground at wet, bro, we would disintegrate. Oh yeah, like, we would, we would you see melons when you drop a melon? That's fast. gonna be us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? Brown and walked away with only a punctured lung and a chipped tooth. Not to mention she was released and sent home two days later. Being impervious to fall damage is how snow leopards can not only make a living in the oh, areas, but can legit fall clear off a cliff and the only injury they take is to their pride. Speaking of plot armor, did you know cats are actually built to predict the weather? You see, what? cat hair attracts static electricity, what? so they can okay. pick up on the buildup of electrical charge that often comes before a really bad storm. Okay. And the cat's inner ears are sensitive to sudden drops in atmospheric pressure, which announce the arrival of a cloud assault. 
Technically, so can we. It's why our ears do the most and pop on a plane, but it's just that cat ears are that much more sensitive. And they can even smell rain and lightning coming. I can it's smell so rain, too. I can do that, too. I can do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I walked outside and be like... It's about to rain. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sailors used to use cats aboard ships as a four-legged four cats. For Wait, four they do what? It's so OP that sailors used to use cats aboard ships as a four-legged four cats. What? For forecast. Oh. No, yeah, yeah, forecast. Apparently, okay. a cat with the zoomies means you could expect strong winds. A cat okay. that sneezed was warning you of heavy rain. Oh, and apparently, wow. if one licked their fur against a grain mid-sail, then you better make like God's golfing, because it's finna hail. Now, to oh, be oh. fair, a month surrounded by nothing but sea and sea men gives you a lot of time to just make stuff up. I mean, just how many sea monster stories was just a whale freeing his what willy? The Yo, there might be some truth to the cat thing. Cats will often spend extra time licking themselves before mm. a bad storm, since having damn fur helps with the static thing I told you about. So basically, if cats could talk, we'd see a lot of meteorologists on unemployment. And speaking of no job, cats really managed to finesse their way into living in nearly 50 million homes in America rent-free. And one of the biggest reasons is because cats are the best manipulators nature has to offer. <laughs> and if you think they aren't, you're probably a mark and you don't even know it. According to researchers at the University of Sussex, many cats will exploit their owners with a soliciting purr. It's more high frequency, triggers a sense of urgency in humans, and even someone resembles the cry of an infant, and we just have to assume that's intentional. And in experiments, not only did humans have a faster response time when hearing that purr compared to a normal one, it even affected people that never owned cats. This distress purr likely triggers a deep, innate nurturing response in humans, meaning you're literally hardwired to answer to it no matter what you were doing before. Damn. So apparently cats understand psychology too. That's not even really a joke, oh, because adult crazy. cats almost never meow to each other. But kittens do it with their mothers for food and warmth, and we have to assume they just figured out it works on humans too. Mm. And it's not just pet cats with this talent. Tigers have been known to imitate the sounds of their prey to lull them into a false sense of security. What? Tigers have reportedly mimicked sandbar deer and black bears. What? Bro, just, just listen to this. Are you mooing because you want to be one with the cows? Oh, hell no. Nah. Right, let me it's get not you just real tigers. quick. Wait, what? Isn't that a um, that reminds me of like a monster that reels you in? Uh, bro, we've seen a bunch of like horror stories or whatever. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of monsters that reels you in, like sirens. They sing to you. Yeah, they, they sing re... to you, and then there was one that like mimics the 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 the, 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 the voice of a human. Oh, 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 fuck! I know exactly. Bro, what you know about. what to uh, talk about, bro? Is it a Wendigo? It might be a Wendigo. Or um. Uh, Fuck! It's the ones that act like humans and you get too close and you're done. Yeah. Fuck, what's the name, bro? Yeah, yeah. They'll know, they'll know. You know what I'm talking about, though, but... Yeah. And it's not just tigers. The South American Margay will verbally cosplay as a baby monkey just to murk what? his parents like a Disney movie. Bruh. Damn. Only the manipulation tactics were passed down. In fact, cats are so good at working people that they'd actually be great politicians. Which is probably how Mayor Stubbs of Talkeena, Alaska stayed in office for 20 years, even surviving assassination attempts by dogs, BB guns, and a deep fryer. Bruh. There's another what? special ability cats have, and it could arguably be the most overpowered of all. Pretty privilege. It's how dolphins ah, got flipper, yeah. orcas got free willy. Huh. Meanwhile, the best movie deal shark Ew. management could get them was being typecast as Jaws. Hey, 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 see, hey. there's this thing called baby schema. It basically means that humans have an intrinsic bias towards a certain set of facial features in people and animals, to the point where it just makes us want to protect them. And with their mm. big head, wide eyes, and round forehead, cats literally remind us of babies. And even though it's a buff from nature, cats will 100% play into this by figuring out what combination of ear wiggling, whisker pointing, and <laughs> eye narrowing gets the best response from people. But now add the fact what? that slow blinking with your cat can trigger oxytocin in both of you, the literal hormone that bonds a mother to her child, and you can see how cats were basically engineered to be irresistible. It's pretty privileged on every steroid possible. And it's wild because if any other animal had a reputation for cold indifference and global genocide, it'd be cause to pause, but because it's cats, we just let it slide. Cat cuteness virtually has us in a- Oh, why the cat yeah. just got a whole pigeon in his mouth? You right, I didn't really register <laughs> in a mouth's brain. They, they be eating birds, bro? Look, yeah, what's up with you? It'd be cause a pause, but because it's cats, we just let it slide. Cat cuteness virtually has us in a chokehold. And I said virtual lie. for a that reason. That cat's said that 50% <laughs> of all internet traffic is driven by cat content. That's 50% of all the stuff on the internet. I want you to think yeah. about that during this ad. Matter of fact, and I'm wait, one of wait, wait, yeah. A lot of it is cat videos. I've seen that where like, it'll be compilations like cats doing blah, blah, blah. And it'll yeah. be like 50 million views, bro. Cause, I'm not that, yeah, I'm gonna like, buy me a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm gonna start vlogging with my cat, bro. Hey, it'll work probably, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. All the stuff on the internet. 
All internet traffic is driven by cat content. That's 50% of all the stuff on the internet. I want you to think about that during this ad. Matter of fact, and I'm willing to put money on it. For some of y'all, this ad's about to be cat related. Oh. Oh, you're back. Oh, by the way, was it? Was it cat related? Oh. I'm actually curious. But Bruh. the thing that almost always gets forgotten <laughs> is that we got YouTube premium. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Cats give back as much as they take, which leads to their next flex, healing powers. And Ew. not just for them. Science says having a cat living under your roof easily extends your subscription to life. Studies really? show that cat owners are 40% less likely to suffer a heart attack and have a 30% less chance of getting clapped by cardiovascular complications. <laughs> and since cardiovascular disease is one of the leading causes of preventable death today, cats are like a real life one-up. Not to mention kids that grew up around cats have less of a chance of getting folded by allergies. Especially if the exposure started in early infancy or even while they're still in the womb waiting room. Mm. And then there's the fact that just petting a cat can nerf stress levels and blood pressure. Yeah, but if you really nice. want to get literal about it, cats purr at a frequency that's said to improve bone density, repair tendons, and promote healing. I what? never really fully understood it, but apparently cats purr at a frequency that transmits vibrations throughout the body. Vibrations that help increase blood flow to the affected area, thereby bringing more nutrients. What? I beg your pardon? can help with soft tissue injuries like sprains and strains. I know I said they live rent free, but considering all they do to carry our health, again, I, I feel like we could let it slide. It's not just a buff to your health either. I vividly remember seeing a bunch of surveys I'm that said that like women dating cats. sites like, actually find men with cats, cats more crazy. attractive. <laughs> Something about seeming more nurturing or emotionally intelligent. On an unrelated note, I want y'all to meet my editor and content manager, Aww. Aslan. Bro, Bro said editor. That boy yeah. look like freaking Garfield. He do look like Garfield. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to find the articles online, but apparently there was a switch up, and now women find cat owners less attractive. So on another unrelated uh, note, yeah, he isn't mine. I'm actually just cat sitting for a friend. Uh, Shout out to you, Yusuf. Yeah, but anyway, cat claw armor is so strong that it might just be able to save you from cancer. We've all heard the stories of what? feline physicians detecting it in people before anyone else could. Cats really? have a sense of smell about 14 times stronger than humans, with their 200 million odor receptors to our pitiful, almost embarrassing five. <laughs> five million. Tumors oh. produce volatile organic compounds, and these VOCs leave the body through sweat and breath. And there's a lot of respected researchers out there that will die on the hill that cats can sniff it out the same way dogs can. In 2018, rescue cat Mia climbed on owner Michelle Pearson's chest and wouldn't get off for anything, sniffing and pawing at, you know, the right one, while also meowing and looking at her, as, as wow. cats do. It wasn't until her husband checked for himself that he felt the telltale lump, and that's how the cat that was rescued from certain death ended up returning the favor and saving her owner from stage 2 breast cancer. Wow. And that's not even much of a reach considering there's also stories of cats warning their diabetic owners of their potentially fatally low blood sugar. Either that or cats can see the future and they'll choose to keep you in theirs if they like you enough. And even that's low-key valid considering superpower number 7 is that cats have ultra instinct. Those whiskers oh, okay. can detect sudden changes in air currents to figure out the size, shape, and speed of nearby objects. What? It's like a whole radar system growing out of their face, and it's how a blindfolded cat is still hell on earth for any mouse in the area. Uh, Bro, I still oh, don't think wow. you're understanding Damn. how much of a cheat whiskers are. Cats can even use their whiskers to figure out what direction their prey is trying to dodge it in right before they pounce, allowing them ah. to cut off any possible escape routes. What? Now to us, it's interesting and pretty cool, but to a mouse trying to make it home to his family, that's gotta be some bullshit. Yeah, that's cats don't just have them on their face. They have whiskers all over. And you can't even play dead with the cats since they have carpal whiskers that allow them to tell if their prey is playing or, you know, actually past tense. GG. And what? honestly, How? this might be the most broken ability cats have. It's basically impossible to catch a cat slipping. They don't have to hear you. They don't even have to smell you. All it takes is a smallest change in air currents to dry snitch on you. But as predators, spider, cats are the ones that are sneaking, which only makes their next ability even more of a jihad for their prey. Cats are athletic creatures. Uh, what the fuck? No, seriously, cats are, are the most athletic. Are playing a game? I don't know, motherfucker said Superman yeah. at home. <laughs> that one jumped at that one jumped at this one jumped. <laughs> bro, look, they know what they're doing, bro. For real. Because why is that one on the left? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right type shit, but they playing the game. Number eight. Cats are athletic freaks of nature. No, seriously, cats are the most athletic group of animals on earth, and I'm gonna stand what on that. The there might not be a single event at the Olympics that one of the 40 yeah. flavors of feline can flex on us in. You want speed? Cheetahs can go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds and can peak Fact. out at over 70 miles per hour. F tier, F tier, F tier, F tier. F tier. <laughs> Heard that from I thought they had it. Oh, All they got is speed. Hey, so, bro, so yeah. respectfully, let, let one come at me. I'm just swinging. Oh, yeah, just. I mean, you better swing fast. <laughs> you better swing fast. <laughs> you better swing fast. Cheetahs can go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Oh, they got his feet, bro. Over they got no defense for real. A cheetah on a Sunday morning jog can still damn, get a little Damn, damn, what that nigga butt? Want to see some long jumping? 
Cougars can clear 45 feet horizontally on a day. You want to see a cat get high minus the catnip? The serval jumps so high that their meal prep literally involves pimp slapping birds right out of the air. And for powerlifting, here we have a literal deadlift by a leopard using only its teeth. Yes, that is a lion. Yes, that is a giraffe. And speaking Damn. of leopards, there are also gymnasts on steroids. That's oh the oh oh the out the And if you think oh you're safe from the smoke oh. and water, Keep in mind that the caiman is part of one of the most successful group of predators in history. All it took was an aquatic equalizer in the form of a cat to wreck their entire game plan. Not to mention jaguars have been seen swimming clear across the Panama Canal. Yeah, that one. Also, they have a hydraulic press for a jaw. God help you if you get caught. video. And all I need to say about tigers is that this is an Indian gar, and even this walking Red Bull logo can get choked out by a 500 pound striped Giggle Garfield. Really? I don't even need to say anything about yeah. that. Oh, look at this boy's shoulder, tricep, and his bicep. I'm saying, bro, what the hell? Fuck. Nah, I need that type of diet, bro. Whatever yeah. you want, I need that, bro. <laughs> you need that raw food diet. I'm saying. <laughs> raw meat diet, buddy. Bro, what the workout shit looking like, bro? What is the know. workout routine, bro? Oh, arms, my just God. arms. <laughs> Over here doing push ups and shit. Man, try some extensions, bro. <laughs> Got by a 500 hell? pound striped Giggle Garfield. And I don't even need to say anything about lions. Those triceps speak for themselves. God, Cats are nice. nature's population control, and there isn't anywhere on earth outside of the devil's iceberg that doesn't have some kind of cat. Damn, I couldn't barely even see Even the travel that. size ones are a menace. The deadliest cat in the world is the African black-footed cat. And because of their what? metabolism, not only can they catch up to 15 bodies a night, they also have a hunting success rate of 60%. Not even oh. lions, tigers, and leopards can touch that. There's a reason okay. why domestic cats put billions Look of animals on shirts a year. And sometimes they turn entire species into history lessons. And unlike their wild cousins, a lot of times with domestic cats, they do it so they do just birds. for fun. Yeah, you think it's cute, but it's bloodlust. Oh. And if you're a mouse and op with whiskers, it's like Thanos. They do be inevitable, especially <laughs> when you factor superpower number nine. What? Cats can teleport. I'm dead what? serious. Cats do this what thing where they just about? spawn wherever the what? plot needs them the most. <laughs> He's not wrong, though. He's not wrong, though. They do be coming out of nowhere. Bro just woke up and he started searching like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, get off the machine. I'm dead serious. Cats do this thing where they just spawn wherever the plot is. <laughs> As solitary hunters, cats can cover insane amounts of distance in times that really make no sense. Take mountain lions, for example. Young male cougars will often travel hundreds of miles away from their mother's territory to find their own. In 2009, a tagged what? cougar took a walk that took him from Black Hills, South Dakota, all the way to Greenwich, Connecticut. God Basically, damn. he hiked from Mount Rushmore to 30 miles from Manhattan. And it's not just cougars that go cross country. A tiger named T1 managed to walk 800 miles across India in only a few months, fueled by nothing but the power of horny. And of Bruh. course, there's a story of El Jefe, a jaguar that randomly showed up in Arizona just outside Tucson. I could really keep going. From June 2017 to July 2018, a young lynx trekked from a wildlife refuge in Alaska all the way into the heart of the Yukon. A trip what? that totaled 2,174 miles. Bro, His name was Hubba. Can't even make that up. But the best story of teleporting So he just wanted to go for a walk? I don't know. And said, I'm gonna keep walking. But it's like, I, feel like it. I mean, they ain't got nothing else to do, really. They ain't gotta do shit, but walk. Yo. Walk to eat. I'm about to go see the world, fuck it. Fuck yeah, hey, facts, bro. He gonna die one day, might as well. Miles. His name was Hobo, by the way. Oh, Can't Hobo. even make that up. But the best story of teleporting cats was Clementine Jones. She was bro, a cat in New York whose family left the her behind dead. because they were moving and they figured the trip would be too hard on a pregnant cat. Oh, little did they know. Clementine spent a couple of months with her kittens and then one day just headed out. Damn! Popped up at her old family's home, 1,600 miles away in Denver. And it's not what? even like the family got tricked by a dupe. Clementine was born with an extra toe and had a burn mark on her shoulder. There was no oh. mistaking her. There's only one cat power that's arguably more impressive, and you saw it coming as soon as you clicked on this video. Superpower uh -huh. number 10, mind control. And it's all because of a little parasite called, you know the name, Toxoplasma Gandhi. It all starts when his you know their name. Cat because they literally only reproduce in their bowels and their eggs don't get past until the cat has a movement, usually in a litter box. Now here's the problem. The Toxoplasma Gandhi needs to find a way back into the cat in order to hit restart on its life cycle. And the best way to do that is by setting up shop inside one of the animals on its grocery list. The only issue is no mouse that values its life is going anywhere near a death sentence with toe beans to make it happen. So the parasite, which by the way basically uses the mouse as a layover, they begin to rewire its brain in order to remove the fear of cats. I don't even know how, but infected mice can even start feeding for cat pee. With what? more irrational confidence than a father of four in an Instagram model's give me comments, your pee, give me your pee, like mouse pee. get body bagged by its number one op, thus repeating this vicious mouse murking cycle. And of course, we now believe that when this same parasite invades us, they do the same thing they would to a mouse. 
Which is why popular opinion is that the toxoplasma parasite yes. causes an unreasonable attraction to cats. Oh and it's possible God. that this factory reset of our personality is due to the parasite making enzymes that control dopamine. What and it's not just humans that can get infected. Turns out afflicted hyena cubs end up bolder in the face of lions. What which the? is a great way for them to get invited to a meet and greet with Mufasa. Damn. It's not 100% proven that the parasite's responsible for all the cat people in the world, but hear me out. There's proof that this parasite was present in ancient Egyptian mummies. Oh, and these course. were the people that straight up worshipped them. Yeah. Not to mention up to a third of all people alive right now have it, and most have no idea. And that's why I say cats have the wildest plot armor I've ever seen. Because real talk, only cats could spin a parasitic infection into a way of living like free. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I would know. Isn't that right, mate? Please. Well, you got another cat, That's why cat, cats bro. are the most broken animals in nature. With, with cats being nature's cutest form of population control, I talk about them a lot in my book. Hold on. Sorry, girl. Uh, okay. With cats being nature's cutest form of population control, I talk about them a lot in my book, 100 Animals That Can Redacted Kill You. Link in the no. description if you want to see for yourself. But make sure you drink water, hug your mother, hug a cat. It might just save your life. And if he allows it, I'm going to see y'all The fuck? in the next one. Oh, God. Oh, you like, such a good boy. What the hell is he blind? You such yeah. a You such a good boy. Okay. Okay. Aww. You can go now. Uh, there you go. Jeez. Look at look, 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 look at this cat. It's blind. Yeah. That guy. I had Yo, a casual was kind of swole. Will he be in the gym or so? Oh, he be doing his thing, you feel me? Uh, but yeah, I I uh, had a cat once. Yeah. Bro ran away to start his own family, oh, man. God. Never came back, yeah, bro. Man. Never came back, man. <laughs> hey man, you just gonna have to get another one, man. I'll get two more. Hey, hey man, shit. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, that's that was that was that was good. I don't know if I get a cat. I'll get one cat in my life. Yeah. One. Yeah. And Oh, you have to have a dog. Oh yeah, I, I need a dog. Yeah. But one cat in my lifetime, I'll get is uh, probably like a man coon. You know what a man coon is? Nah, it's not. Big ass cat. About the size of a dog, to be honest. What? <laughs> yeah. oh, you, gotta, you might as well get a tiger at that point. <laughs> Big ass cat. I want that. I'm gonna start petting the cat. What's up, boy? <laughs> oh, I do with a Pluto. Oh, oh yeah, she's like a. Oh yeah. What's up, my boy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big ass dog, bro. Yeah, man. Anyway, man, if y'all like it, you'll like it. You can't like it, you'll not like it. Oh! You get people fuck up next day. Fuck off! You know what I'm saying? Stupid! Like the goddamn Bro, goddamn. like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Stop you know being saying? goofy. Exactly. Hug your mom, drink some water. Like and, he said. And, 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 and,